Welcome to the Swell Pro tutorial video. In this video, we will guide you through the flight operations and payload release functions of the Swell Pro Fisherman FD3. Open the carry case of the Fisherman FD3 and take out the drone and accessories in turn. You can check out what's inside the box by watching the Fisherman FD3 pre flight preparation video. Unscrew the battery compartment lock at the top of the drone and open the battery compartment cover. Push the battery into the compartment with the black connector facing down. Push the battery all the way in until you hear a click, indicating the battery is properly installed. Close the battery compartment door. When installing propellers, match the AB markings on the propellers with the AB markings on the motor hubs. Hold the bottom of the motor and tighten the propeller's adapter in the direction of the arrow. Ensure the propellers do not wobble. For high altitude flights, position the antenna on the aircraft downwards. For water surface or near water flights, position the antenna upwards. Adjust the antenna angle to ensure optimal signal reception and secure the angle with the locking ring. Remove the protecting foam from the camera. If you want to take photos and record videos during the flight, insert a micro SD card into the top of the camera and ensure the seal of the SD card slot is tight. You can install a phone holder on the remote controller if you want to use the FD Fly app. Align the mounting threads on the holder with the base on the remote controller and secure them. Adjust the knob behind the holder to stretch out the holder arms. Place your phone on the holder, clamp it tightly, and tighten the lock knob to secure your phone. Spread the two antennas at an angle and position them parallel to the aircraft for optimal signal transmission. If the sunlight is too strong and affects the visibility of the screen, you can attach a sunshade to the screen. Before turning on the remote controller, ensure all top switches are in the up position. Press the power button on the remote controller once briefly, then press and hold it for 3 seconds to turn it on. Briefly press the power button on the bottom of the aircraft once, then press and hold it for 2 seconds until you hear a beep indicating the drone is on. After powering on, let the drone sit for 1 minute to complete self-checks. The drone's indicator lights will flash red and green alternately. Once the rear indicator lights turn solid green, the drone is ready for takeoff. For first time flight, it is recommended to use GPS mode. Before takeoff, check the remote controller screen and ensure that the drone is in GPS mode. Battery voltage is above 24 volts and GPS signal quality is above 9. Attach the payload to the drone's release mechanism using a tether. Tie a secure knot in the tether. Toggle the payload switch down on the remote controller to open the release mechanism. Insert the tether and toggle the switch up to close the release mechanism. If the tether is long, weigh it down or straighten it to prevent it from getting caught in the propellers during takeoff. Choose an open area free of obstacles for your flight. The pilot should stand 3 meters from the aircraft before takeoff. Pull both joysticks down to the lowest position and then inward to unlock the drone's motors. Lightly push the throttle stick up to lift off slowly. Release the throttle stick and the drone will hover at its current altitude. Push up the left joystick, the aircraft goes up. Push down the left joystick, the aircraft goes down. Push the left joystick to the left, the aircraft rotates counterclockwise. Push the left joystick to the right, the aircraft rotates clockwise. Push up the right joystick, the aircraft flies forward. Push down the right joystick, the aircraft flies backward. Push the right joystick to the left, the aircraft flies left. Push the right joystick to the right, the aircraft flies right. Keep an eye on the drone's distance, altitude, horizontal speed, and vertical speed during the flight. You can adjust the channel using the buttons next to the screen if the video transmission is disrupted. When the camera switch is in preview position, the camera provides a real-time video feed. Toggle this switch to photo position, the camera will take a photo. Toggle the switch to video position, the camera will start recording. Switch back to the preview position to stop recording and save the file. 
Use the up and down buttons on the remote controller to adjust the gimbal angle. When the drone reaches the desired location, the dual payload release mechanism can release two separate payloads. Switch to position A for the first release and to position B for the full release. You can also control the flight and payload using the FD Fly app. With the drone and remote controller turned on, go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings. Find the Wi-Fi to connect. Open the pre-downloaded FD Fly app. Once the app shows a successful connection in the bottom right corner, click the Connected button to enter the map interface. The top left icon shows the drone's current status. The top right icons display the current flight mode, GPS signal quality, drone battery voltage, drone to remote signal quality, and remote control battery level. Click the three dots icon in the top right to enter the app settings. Set the return home altitude higher than the nearby buildings or objects and choose your desired fail-safe precautions for signal loss or low battery. It is recommended to maintain the default low battery alarm threshold. The bottom left orientation map shows the drone's position and orientation. Click the takeoff icon and slide to make the drone automatically take off and hover at 2 meters. Click the icon to collapse the function menu. Click the locate icon to activate the location function, showing the positions of your phone, home point, and drone on the map. To avoid map loading failures due to network issues, download the map to your phone in advance. Saved maps can be viewed in the map list. Click the icon to switch between tap to fly and waypoint missions. In tap to fly mode, you can select one waypoint on the map. Then you can set flight height flight speed if the drone will drop payload at the waypoint and stay time after the mission. In waypoint mission mode, you can select multiple waypoints on the map. You can set the flight parameters for individual waypoints or delete waypoints. You can also click on the icon on the right to select all waypoints and set the flight parameters for all waypoints or delete all waypoints simultaneously. Click the icon to save waypoints missions and name them. Click the icon to execute saved waypoints missions. After completing the flight mission, use the return home switch on the remote control to activate the automatic return home function. The drone will automatically return to the takeoff point. When the drone reaches the return point and starts descending, manually control the left joystick to land slowly. Do not push the joystick all the way down to avoid crash. After landing, Hold the left joystick at the lowest position for 3 seconds to lock the motors. Briefly press the power button, then press and hold for 2 seconds to turn off the drone and remote control. After each flight, rinse the drone's motors, gimbal and release mechanism with clean fresh water to avoid corrosion. Thank you for watching the Swell Pro Fisherman FD3 first flight video. We wish you a joyful and safe flight.